It is a revolutionary world that we all live in. And thus, as I have said, in Latin America and in Asia and in Europe and in my own country, the United States, it is the young people who must take the lead. Thus, you and your young compatriots everywhere have had thrust upon you a greater burden of responsibility than any generation that has ever lived. There is, said an Italian philosopher, nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct, or more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. Yet this is the measure of the task of your generation, and the road is strewn with many dangers. First is the danger of futility, the belief there is nothing one man or one woman can do against the enormous array of the world's ills, against misery, against ignorance, or injustice and violence. Yet many of the world's great movements of thought and action have flowed from the work of a single man. A young monk began the Protestant Reformation. A young general extended an empire from Macedonia to the borders of the earth. And a young woman reclaimed the territory of France. It was a young Italian explorer who discovered the new world. And 32-year-old Thomas Jefferson, who proclaimed that all men are created equal. Give me a place to stand, said Archimedes, and I will move the world. These men move the world and so can we all. Few will have the greatness to bend history, but each of us can work to change a small portion of the event, and then the total, all of these acts will be written in the history of this generation.